breaking over Milan. By the time people woke up here, normal life had been suspended. After nearly 6,000 cases of COVID-19 and more than 300 deaths, in the early hours, the Italian Prime Minister announced drastic limits on people's lives. We want to protect the health of all citizens. We are aware that this will create unease and that these measures will be a sacrifice, big and small. But this is the time to be responsible. 16 million people are now living under strict conditions. The entire region of Lombardy, home to the financial capital Milan, is under lockdown. But so are more than a dozen provinces and Venice. You can't enter or leave these red zones without an exceptional reason. Gatherings like weddings and funerals are suspended. Restaurants and cafes can open till 6 p.m., but must keep customers one metre apart. Unfortunately, many people slipped out of the region before the shutters came down. News of the lockdown was leaked last night, giving people the chance to flee south. People are being urged to stay put and stay at home. But Sophie Bevan, whose family lives not far from Milan, says some are ignoring the rules and no one's really enforcing them. People are still going on trips. They're still going down the supermarkets. Luckily, as of this weekend, they've closed all the shopping centres. The shopping centres are now closed every weekend. They're open during the week, but they're closed every weekend. But you'll get groups of kids who have nothing to do at home, who will take a bus, because the buses are still running, and go down to the local shopping centres and hang out. As if there were nothing wrong. And people just don't appreciate the seriousness of it. Perhaps to ram it home, the Italian government has released these pictures of a woman in her 60s with coronavirus being flown by military helicopter to a Lombardy hospital. Here, we've not seen anything like the spread of the virus in Italy. 273 people in the UK now have COVID-19. The government hasn't reached for so-called social distancing measures yet, but it is introducing emergency legislation to protect the jobs of volunteers like the St John Ambulance, so they can stop work for four weeks to help the NHS. We have around 10,000 committed volunteers who week in, week out help out in their communities, and we're talking about what role they could play going forwards. Receiving paid time off work to volunteer for us would be a new step, but it's something that we will explore with government because we want to play the fullest part possible in supporting the nation at our time of need. Shoppers emptying shelves have forced three stores into rationing. Tesco and Waitrose Online restricting sales of some antibacterial wipes, as does some hand sanitizer. The Prime Minister said people don't need to stock up. We've had no advice from, from the, the scientific advisors or the, the, the medical officers that, that there's any need for people to, to buy stuff in. Uh, I, you know, if you think you've got symptoms, then uh, the best thing to do, is, as you know, is, is, is to stay at home, re contact the NHS. And yes, absolutely, we will make sure that we give the NHS all the support, all the uh, investment it needs to, to cope with this crisis. In the US, nearly 500 people in 32 states have tested positive for the coronavirus. 19 have died. Today, Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders said campaign rallies could have to be cancelled. But in China, the number of new infections is falling rapidly every day. 57,000 people have recovered from the disease there. We are very looking forward to going home. Here, 32 people were also on the way home after their two-week quarantine on the Wirral. A precaution.